Hey everybody, I'm Russo and I do a little work here and there. Looks like I'm back with another episode of Research What? And today I'm going to be looking at something that I've touched on in the past, but we're going to go into a little bit more detail. Of course, if you can read, you probably already know. We're talking about Silhouette Studio and Pepecura Designer. What you're looking at now is Paper Mouse Medieval Church, link in the description, in PDO form. And while I do think that the JPEGs included are of a later design because they have a lot of extra elements, this is going to save a lot of time when we're making those cut files because otherwise we have to do all this by hand. Helpful as it is, we might need the included SketchUp file to make some sense of this. All right, this is a little bit better, but there's still some stuff missing. This sort of thing is nice to have, but totally not necessary. Step one remains, find a PDO and open it in Pepecure. Most of the time they're just boxes and they aren't exploded quite like this. So now it's gonna get a little bit easier and then a little bit harder. If you found a PDO that you like and everything looks good, then you go up to the menu, file, export, vector formats, and you got some options, but I choose DXF, give it a file name and I'll just put it on the desktop. If it looked good enough to start with, I suppose you could try your luck and see if it imports all right into Silhouette Studio, but this I think is going to need a lot of work, so I'm going Adobe Illustrator. This will be our first tab of many, and I'm going to open it at the original size because I'm not going to do a whole lot of work to this. I'm going to import all the JPEGs one by one. Everything should end up the same scale. I'll just have to figure out what that scale is later. I am going to speed through the footage so it's not too mind-numbing, but the process here is pretty much the same as when I was using using 123D Make and bringing the slices into Silhouette Studio. The big difference here is that you're going to want to maintain the layer structure that was present in the DXF that you imported from Pepecure Designer. While the colors of the actual lines aren't that important, it's impossible to have things grouped and have them show up when you import them into Silhouette Studio. So you have to do all of your grouping with layers. It's pretty messy, but it's really not that bad. So the general idea is to go one layer at a time, one object at a time. First, making sure that all of the shapes are continuous by selecting each of the shapes within the object and joining them with Control or Command J. And having everything on the different layers is nice because it means you can lock the layers that you're not wanting to work on right now. I have made the addition of two layers, one of which is the background JPEG image, and the other of which is a frame, and in my case the frame is just 8.5 by 11 in inches, and I keep this locked the whole time, it's just so when I get this into Silhouette Studio, and if this is the size I already want it, then I won't have to worry about everything scaling funny later, all by itself or by some mistake of my own. When you're done, like I said, make sure everything is ungrouped and then unhidden, file export, save it as a DXF, uh, give it a different but still appropriate name, and you should be ready to import this into Silhouette Studio. And you know what, you might as well save it as an Illustrator file as well. You never know what's going to happen. When you finally get into Silhouette Studio, go to File, and then Open, and find your DXF. You should be able to just click on the lines that you want to be fold lines, go into the Cut Properties and set those to Perforate. All the other lines should already be set to Cut. And that should be about everything you need to know. Of course, every project's different. If you stick around, you might see more of this one later on. But that's all for me for now. Of course, you've been watching Research What? On Russo Works, and I am Russo. Out.